In this video, I'm going to show you how to grow lettuce in a mason jar. This is based on the Kratky method. The Kratky method is a passive hydroponic system that grows plants in a static nutrient solution without the need for pumps or electricity. The plant is suspended above a nutrient rich water reservoir in net pots, allowing their roots to excess both water and oxygen. And as the plants grow, the water level drops, exposing more of the roots to the air while, where they absorb oxygen. You can grow all kinds of leafy greens in mason jars. Here I've got lettuce, various types of lettuce, spinach, and even parsley. For this, we're gonna be using your standard mason jars, one quart mason jars, wide mouth. It has to be the wide mouth kind of mason jars. One of the things you won't need is the little insert for the lid. You can, uh, you can get rid of that. And what's gonna happen is we're gonna be putting in what are called net cups. This is used in hydroponics. And these are three inch net cups. I will be leaving links to all these different things that you can purchase on Amazon. So you take your mason jar, you insert your three inch net cup into the mason jar. It fits perfectly in there. And then you put your lid uh, ring on and this holds the net cup in the mason jar. Next thing you're gonna need is a black sock. Just find some inexpensive black socks and you're gonna pull the black sock up over the mason jar. What this is gonna do is this is gonna keep the light, either sunshine or artificial light, depending on where you're growing your lettuce, from messing up the water inside and turning the water into algae. The other thing you're gonna need for this is clay pebbles. Now because there's no soil in this, the clay pebbles are gonna act as a grow medium and a stabilizer just to hold the plants in place. They also are gonna block sunlight or artificial light from going down through the net cup into the water and creating algae. So this is an example of the clay pebbles in the mason jar. But before we go any further, we actually have to do something before we actually add the clay pebbles. So you want to get yourself a five quart bucket that also has um, measuring scale on the side. And you also want some kind of wooden spoon or other type of mixing utensil. There's various types of water soluble fertilizers that you can use. Some of them come in uh, bags of three items which you have to mix together. Some come in liquid form, usually in a part A and a part B that you have to mix together. All those will work. The one that I use is this product from General Hydroponics called Maxi Grow. And it's everything all in one bag. These are granules. It comes with a little scoop, a teaspoon and tablespoon scoop inside the bag when you buy it. And you can buy the bags in different sizes. Uh, it's best just to go with the smaller two pound bag to start with. And this is all you're gonna need. So you have the one gallon of water and you add two teaspoons of the Maxi Grow, and you stir it up real well to dissolve the granules into the water. And now you have a nutrient rich solution. The other thing you're gonna need is a pH meter. It's very important to know the pH level of your water. The pH scale measures how acidic an object is, in this case, the water. The pH scale ranges from zero, which is the most acidic, to 14, which is the most basic or the alkaline. Pure water has a pH value of seven, right in the middle. And this is considered neutral pH. Rainwater has a pH level between 5 and 5.5, which is slightly acidic. On the pH scale, a pH level of 0 would be battery acid. Lemon juice and vinegar would be a pH level of 2. Tomato juice would be a pH level of 4. Milk would be a pH level of 6. Bleach would be a pH level of 13. Caustic soda liquid drain cleaner would be a pH level of 14. Most plants are gonna want a pH level of water to be between six and seven. Lettuce likes a pH level of water to be in the 6.5 range, give or take a little bit. There are many ways to measure the pH. You can use a type of litmus paper or a pH 
a meter like this one. After you mix your granulated fertilizer, you put your pH meter into the water and instantly in a few seconds it's going to give you a level. And as you can see on mine, it's 5.6 roughly. So in this case, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to also purchase a pH up and down set of chemicals. These ones that I get, and I'll have a link in the description, is from Atlas Scientific. The pH down, as it says, is for lowering the pH level if it's above 7, down closer to the area that you want to be in. And it's basically just a phosphoric acid in a liquid form. The pH up, which is the one that I have to use in my water, because my water, as you saw, was in the 5.5 pH level. And I want to bring it up to like six and a half. The pH up is a uh, potassium carbonate, and that's just going to bring up the level. And you have to just play around with how much you're going to put in it. Once you uh, have tried this a few times, you'll you'll know how much, how many drops of either one of these to get it up or down to where you want it. So you just pour it in, stir it up, take another reading, and now you see my pH level is now six and a half, which is where I want to be. Now there is also another um, one of these granulated ones for this brand that I buy that I also use, but I don't use it for the lettuce. This one is called a Maxi Bloom, and it's for plants that you're growing that are going to have blooms on them. So I use this, for example, in my hydroponics for my pepper plants, anything like that, or tomatoes or something like that that's going to have a that's going to have a flower and fruit at some point. But lettuce and leafy greens, you're not going to need this one, just the other one, but just for information purposes. So now we're going to take the nutrient rich solution and fill up our mason jars not all the way you want to have a little bit of space just so there's maybe a, a quarter or half an inch in the bottom of the net cups we're going to put those uh, clay pebbles in a container and we're going to actually wash them first we're going to run some uh, clean water on it and then we're going to dump off all the uh, dust and debris that is on these clay pebbles when you get them then we're going to fill the bucket back up with water and then we're going to take and add the water uh, soaked clay pebbles and put them in the mason jars and fill it up pretty well again this is going to be something that the plant's going to grow on and in and it's going to give it stability and it's going to keep the sunlight or artificial light from going into the water now we're simply going to take our lettuce seeds and we're going to sprinkle them Quite a few of them on top of the clay pebbles and then we're going to use a uh, spray bottle filled with just regular water and we're going to just wet them down really well now over the first week or so i'm going to keep doing this with the spray bottle while it's in my greenhouse to keep them moist until they start sprouting the mason jar then just goes into uh, my greenhouse with the other mason jars that i already have lettuce growing on them it should take just a few days for them to start sprouting. Some of the seeds will sprout and some of the seeds won't sprout. If you feel like you have too many lettuce plants growing in here, you can always thin them out. I usually just let them be. And then as you see, once they get big and ready to, to be cut uh, at any time, depending on how you like your lettuce, uh, you just take a pair of scissors and you just cut the lettuce just above the clay pebbles and there you go you have your lettuce fresh for your salad or whatever you're going to use it for to eat now lettuce is like a perennial it's going to keep growing so if you leave this just like this in this mason jar these lettuce stems are going to start sprouting another round of lettuce so you don't have to replant them just uh, spray them down again with some water make sure that the nutrient rich solution in the mason jar always is pretty full once the lettuce starts growing pretty quickly it'll start eating up or drinking up the the water with the fertilizer in it so you can pick the mason jar up and kind of shake it and you'll see how much water is in there and just keep pouring some more nutrient rich solution into the mason jar so it's always you know fairly full but not all the way where it's overflowing at the top if you want to have a constant supply of lettuce, then you're going to have to have quite a few jars with lettuce growing so you can keep rotating fresh jars in 
And then once you get a, enough jars into a sequence growing, you should have constant supply of lettuce at all times. Now I put mine into a special greenhouse in my basement under artificial light. Um, you could do it on a windowsill or some other place where there's sunshine. For the artificial setup here, you're going to want to have at least, you know, 14 to 16 hours of light on these plants. You're also going to want to make sure that the temperature doesn't get too hot. Lettuce is a, basically a cool weather crop, so it flourishes in the 70 to 75 degree range. If you get up over 80 degrees, um, lettuce can start having issues, uh, wilting, bolting. So the most optimum growing range, like I said, is the 70 to 75 degrees if it's possible to keep it like that. You don't want it to be really humid and really hot. Also in my greenhouse I'm growing lettuce and spinach in deep water culture buckets. This is a similar type of growing as with the mason jars except this is a large container filled with the same nutrient solution, the same net cups with the clay pebbles except this grows in larger containers so the lettuce can get to even bigger size. The nutrient rich water in these totes is oxygenated with a uh, fish tank air pump that's pumping air into these containers to keep the uh, oxygen going fully to the roots. In the mason jar method the oxygen is coming through the top only so if you want to give this a try it's pretty easy and I'm giving you a link to all these different things in the description of this video. The mason jars you can buy just about anywhere. But Walmart has the best prices for them. You can get them online at different places as well. Just made to make sure that you get the, the one quart wide mouth mason jars. All the other products that you've seen in this video I have links to below to Amazon where you can buy them. They're all very inexpensive. Like I said earlier in the video this works really great with leafy greens like lettuce and spinach. Although you can grow things like parsley and cilantro and other herbs in this method as well. Best thing to do is just uh, experiment and try it out and see how you like it. Hope this video was informative. Have a good day.